Manchester United had conceded in the first 10 minutes of their last three defeats to Man City. It felt like the only possible outcome when Ilkay Gundogan darted off in celebration just 12 seconds into the FA Cup final. United have been guilty of crumbling under pressure and wilting when the heat got too much in the past. They might not be the finished article yet, but this is a team that is certainly showing the early signs of being on the right path. Eric Ten Hag's game plan went entirely out the window after his team's disastrous start, but the sign of a top manager is that they can react in the heat of the moment and adapt to their new surroundings. United did exactly that as they dug deeper into the trenches to weather an early city storm and ensure the afternoon wasn't going to fade out into a foregone conclusion without a proper fight. It wasn't exactly pretty, but it didn't need to be. All that matters on Derby Day is winning, no matter how it comes about, and that is even more apparent when the treble is at stake as a result of it. United were fortunate with the controversial penalty that gave them an unlikely lifeline in the match, but it is also testament to Ten Hag's management, and the way he has rejuvenated a player like Aaron Juan Bissaka that he was fighting so ferociously to help win it in the first place. That response to going a goal down was testament to the new belief and mentality instilled by their manager, but ultimately the match was also a reminder that his managerial noose also has its limits. There are players in the squad who he has made even better, those who will form a key part of his side next season, and others he has already maximized, who have no further worth. David De Gea remains an unsolved problem and was questionable for both of Gundogan's goals. Jadon Sancho looked frightened whenever he got on the ball. And Fred played as badly as we all know he can. Indeed, for the second goal of the game, a needless free kick was conceded by Fred and then a devilishly bouncing ball stretched agonizingly wide of De Gea's outstretched glove. These are the fine margins that so often decide matches at the very top level. These are the fine margins that United must narrow even further with top quality recruits in the summer window. Yet with his options limited and the squad already stretched, there was little more Ten Hag could do than set up as he did and hope that his players played to their full potential. Christian Eriksen, so often the savior had a game to forget, and all United could bring on was a support act of players who are either a little too raw or completely undercooked. It never felt like a reliable game plan, and that's because it isn't. United can't beat City at their own game with the players they have and must still relish the role of underdogs if they are ever to find a way to win. There have been enough signs of improvement already this season to suggest that is possible with more time and investment in the playing squad, but until then there is little else Ten Hag can really do to match the very best. United should take some heart from the fact they didn't crumble like they have in the past, not that it will be much of a comfort today. Now you